Hi, I'm Jeff Watts, and this light bulb talk is about the power of empathic listening. If I were to recommend one skill for scrum masters, or leaders in general, to practice, it would be empathic listening. I believe it's crucial and has a huge impact on team performance, dynamics, morale, and progress. Empathic listening is much harder than many people think and is a skill that requires practice. It involves putting aside your judgment because while you may not necessarily agree with everything you're hearing, by displaying a genuine understanding for a person's beliefs and feelings, you're more likely to increase your relationships with others, resulting in higher levels of respect, collaboration and performance. People know when you're listening actively or simply just hearing the words. Their behaviour will change simply by knowing that you're genuinely interested in what they have to say. To develop your ability to listen and concentrate, try sitting in a noisy place, perhaps a coffee shop or a park, and try to isolate certain noises, a bird chirping, the sound of the traffic, the wind, and practice blocking out everything but that noise. Don't get discouraged when your mind wanders, that's normal. When it does, just consciously bring your focus back to the chosen noise. Then practice shifting your attention consciously from one noise to another and back again. Notice what gets in the way of listening for you and work on that. If you listen hard enough, you can often pick up on what people don't or won't say as well. If you carefully inquire and listen to exactly what's being said and what's not, you can then offer potentially powerful interpretations and new insights. You could experiment with playing back what you've heard to test your ability to listen. Ask them if you've heard them correctly. It can be interesting to see just how neutral we are when filtering information and how much we put our own interpretations on what we hear. You could also practice your empathy. Offer your thoughts on how what that person is telling you may have impacted them. You might be wrong, of course, but you might be surprised how in tune you can be with someone else. Even if you are wrong, offering a suggestion could be enough to show you care and that you're trying to think from their perspective, and this alone will increase rapport. Why not schedule some time every day to practice listening and ask for feedback from people on how listened to they felt and whether that helped them, and perhaps whether it helps you. I hope you found this light bulb talk useful. Why not get in touch and let me know what you heard 